What's going on, everybody? It's Mel DFS coming to you live and direct. Hit to get my favorite plays for today. We got a five game main slate. Hope everybody's having a great day. Feel free to like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Press that bell icon to always stay notified for new videos. Let's get into it. Going to my first pick, going to our point guards. The John St. Murray, 9,800 on both platforms to me is a safe spot. Going against Portland, which you should have a problem with Simmons. It's averaging 48.9 fans points in the past five games. Averaging 19 points, 9.4 rebounds, 8 assists in the past 5 games. Should be a good spot for Murray. Another play to look at is Lonzo Ball at 7,200 on DraftKings. On FanDuel at 6,700 going against the Knicks, which is averaging 38.3 fans points in the past 5 away games. And the Knicks allow the average 39 fans points to the starting point guards. To me, it's also another safe floor play. Let's go to our next spot, going to our shooting guards. Derek White at 6,300 on DraftKings. He is priced up on FanDuel at 7,200. We're going against Portland. He's averaging 43 fans points in the past two games, averaging 32.3 fans points in the past five. And Portland allows an average 26.7 fans points to the starting shooting guard spot, also allowing an average 35.2 fans points in the past five games to the starting shooting guards. Do like the spot for Derek White, but especially on DraftKings on his price tag at 6,300. Do like Alex Caruso as well at 5,200 on DraftKings, 57 on FanDuel against the Knicks and where you don't have to worry about White so helps without cutting into his minutes. He is averaging 27.3 fantasy points in the past five, 11 points, 3.8 rebounds a game and averaging 28 minutes. And that's what you want to see from a guy that's coming off the bench with the Knicks is bottom tier against the point guard reserve. So I like the spot for Alex Caruso and low own as well. All right, going to our next play, going to our small forwards. Do like Dylan Brooks at 7K on DraftKings on FanDuel at 5,800. I think it's a safe spot. He is averaging 33% in usage in the past five games. And going against OKC, that allows an average 28.6 fans points to the start small forwards. He should be in a good spot. He has shown that he could give you upside against OKC. 30 plus in his play for today. Alex Burks at 6,500 on DraftKings, 7K on FanDuel, but more likely going to be a cash play. I like the fact that he's getting the minutes. He's averaging 39 minutes in the last two games 46 41 in the last two going against chicago to allow the average 35.7 fans points to the starting point guards something to consider if you want to look at a cash play alex burks is one of those guys to consider for today the next play going to our power forwards for some savings and where our savings play I like brandon clark at 3900 definitely like the price tag on DraftKings. he is 46 on fan we're going against okc he's averaging 9.6.6 rebounds in the last five 21.9 fans points in the past five games he is averaging 30.9 fans points in the past three games versus okc last season so check it out shows you guys upside so brandon clark has price tag especially on DraftKings at 3.9 is something to consider for your lines for today also look out for some savings is Trey Lyles at 3,600, 38 on FanDuel. Get him for less than 4K, and where he should be in a good play as Detroit is a 12-point underdog. So he should get some minutes here. He's averaging 20.6 fans points in the past five games, 11 points average, 22% in usage, and going against Phoenix defense that is bottom tier in reserve. So like this play for Trey Lyles. It's a great savings play on both platforms for your lines. And let's go to our last play, going to our centers. You got Yusuf Nurkic. 7K on DraftKings, 67 on FanDuel is a nice play overall. He is averaging 17 points, 9.2 rebounds a game, averaging 36.6 fans points in the past five games. And the Spurs, they allow average 35 fans points to the starting centers, 42.3 in the past 20 away games. So Yusuf Nurkic is a safe play as my center for today. We have Steven Adams at 43 on DraftKings. That could be a nice, valuable spot. Gets his formal team. So, got a formal team narrative where OKC allows an average 31.6 fans points in the past 20 away games, and allowing an average 9.4 rebounds. So, he's a good spot. And on DraftKings, you want to consider him at 4-3. These are my favorite plays. Y'all like the plays? Give a thumbs up. Any questions, comment below. Using Draft Dashboard Tools in the link in my description. It's only a dollar up to 30 days. And once you sign up, get access to the NBA cheat sheet, your sleepers, and your studs. Click on watch players. You access to my player pool up top for watch Mel's DFS picks. Beat the DraftKings or a fan duel. So I love y'all. Y'all collect that bag. It's Mel DFS and y'all stay blessed. And I'll see y'all in the next video.